Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a fun one. This is Bourbon County, but what is this label? So this is actually in commemoration for, I, I believe, 30 years of um, creating this beer. And so for their anniversary, they went back to the old label. Uh, this is something that I believe, I, I believe I've actually had old label Bourbon County before and actually had to look all the way back. And I believe it is 2008 was the last time they did, uh, went with this old label. Um, well, it was like a mat. It's not like as fancy. This is all like, you know, new age paper and all that or labeling and stuff. But before it's like, I think actual, like this feels like um, kind of like smooth. <laughs> anyway, uh, 2008, I got into beer around 2012. 2012 was the first vintage of uh, Goose Island Bourbon County that I have ever had. Literally the beer that got me into craft beer. So we're talking about um, 2022, it's literally a decade later. This is the beer that got me into it. Uh, really excited. Um, so they are also doing the, uh, 16.9 ounce or 500 ml bottles, but instead you can do four pack and the price is actually not bad for a um, The original packaging is like $14 and then for this one it is $40 So for dollar per ounce or whatever you want to calculate it to be it's about the same But I'd rather spend $40 and have four shots at Bourbon County versus like have the one big bottle have to enjoy it once And then maybe I'll buy like one more to save for the you know the age or something like that way cooler to just drop the $40 and then just have four bottles that you can like age, enjoy, share, whatever you want. Um, I just like small, smaller format. Really crazy considering when I got into beer, I believe the four packs were going for something like $14, um, $15. And, and general beer has been pretty like inelastic in its ability to change in pricing. Um, what like 12 packs back then, or, or six pack of craft beer back then was maybe $10, $11. Now they're 12, right? Uh, now this is just like tripled in price, right? We're going from $15 to $40 a four pack, but. That's what it is. This is the 2022 vintage of Busan Bourbon County, and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Uh, always try to, I, I think I've literally done a review of every single vintage uh, for you guys since I've started doing these reviews, so let's dig into this guy. This guy, by the way, comes in at 14.3%. Um, uh, um, this was, it, it says a five year Best Buy, and then has that all, all the old labeling, all, all that, you know, talk about it. So, Beer is same old pretty kind of like pitch black color. Um, is it coated in glass as well as it usually does? Huh. Usually it leaves like a big film on the um, on the glass. Instead here I get like more carb. It seems like it's more carb than usual. Like I'm actually creating more head while I'm swir swirling around. Interesting. Oh, carb seems a little bit more intense than usual. A little bit more head, but it's still dark tan. Uh, very dark head. It's the aroma. Yeah, it smells familiar. Smells like Bourbon County. Um, they don't have the tasting notes that they usually have, but like it's like um, rich molasses, espresso, um, dark chocolate, um, get vanilla. This one is quite um, red fruit laden. I get this kind of dark fruit character. I get like um, Luxard, like those uh, uh, old fashioned like uh, Luxardo Maraschino cherries. Um, maybe a little bit of like like um, uh, figs, like dried figs, a little bit of like dried prune kind of action, um, raisin. Yeah. Also that really nice kind of like um brown sugar toffee sweetness in there as well. So it's like a complement of like that rich layering of like the big um like also, also the, along with the kind of like dark fruits, you also get this kind of like stewed apple pie kind of character. Um I guess like the in, inside of an apple pie. Uh, not too much of the spicing, but just that that cooked, concentrated, sweet, um like red apple action, huh? Smells awesome, awesome. Cheers. Have it slightly chilled. I'll probably warm it up um, as it comes in. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Is this a regular Bourbon County? Wow. This don't taste right. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say it's like infected or anything, but it just doesn't taste right, huh? I mean, it's definitely Bourbon County, but this is not a very good batch. Wow. This easily got to be one of the worst ones I've had. Fresh. Um, what happens is Usually it's more um, expressive and um, like, um, oh, what is what looking for? Like, it's usually more layered and complex. Here, it tastes tired. Like, this is a fresh vintage. It just tastes tired. Um, it tastes like it's over the hill for fresh vintage, huh? Why? Up front, um, you get the sweet kind of vanilla character. The bourbon hits. There you go. Um, the bourbon doesn't seem as well integrated into the. Wow, so weird. Um, 
Good one, The bourbon is not as prominent. And what, 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 what's so good about this beer when it's on is that it just it's like it's so well layered into the beer. And, and it's a uh, co-mingling of the, the, the base stout and, and the big alcohol flavors and the, um, the fruitiness and then the char and the caramel and then that, that integration of like, you know, vanilla and like all these like wonderful kind of like dessert chocolate cake kind of brownie kind of action to like, you know, meld it in with the barrel. Here, it's like, the beer is like, The beer is a little dry and disjointed. Um, again, it tastes like a tired vintage of the beer. Like it doesn't taste like a 2022. It tastes like this was a over the hill five year old bottle. Let's go with that five year old bottle. Um, I, I've tended to like the peak around like at least like anywhere from like two to four years, and then like um, I think I think it takes a dip after that. Um, what, what, what's lacking here, I guess, is complexity. Um, I get like obviously like the dark. Uh, rich flavors of malt. It's got like espresso, but then it leans onto this almost like ashy thing, which usually is like not a bad issue, but like it's yeah, it's like ashy on the back end, huh? The bourbon is not very usually the bourbon's like forward, but also integrated into beer. Instead, it's like it goes into this like I don't want to call it infected, but it's just like. Yeah, it's not sour at all, but it's just like such a tired kind of like it doesn't have the vibrancy it usually has. Um, it's like it's like instead of like fluffy, chocolatey, rich kind of like dessert and brownies and stuff, it tastes like something that's like crumbs, right? Like crumbs where it's like a hint of the dessert, but like not. But take a full bite of like a brownie, you're getting the crumbs of the brownie, right? Um, and then it's just got this like lingering, like ashy, acrid flavor that's not very enjoyable and like what i was smelling on the nose with those like uh bright red fruits and the dried fruits are like hidden mm. wow yeah it's 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 just a little drier and ashier than i'm used to um usually the dryness helps with like um the big boozy sweet flavors the beer it seems like it's just less sweet than it usually it is which is you know, I don't think it's the case because, like, I can, <clears throat> sorry, it's perceived as less sweet. I can tell it's obviously sweet because, like, literally the action of, like, you know, the beer being on your lips and the stickiness, like, it's it's there. The residual sweetness is there. It's just the impression. And the beer is just, oh, wow. Oh. It's crazy. Maybe I'm off today, but it's got, again, this just smoky, ashy burnt thing that's, like, not as enjoyable as it usually is. Um, yeah, man, this, like, this ain't it. <laughs> Uh, it's still tasty all hell, but I'm not going to go crazy for it. Um, let's go with the solid, uh, 93, 93. Yeah. This easily, this is easily, in my opinion, the worst, uh, fresh vintage I've ever had. So you guys can let me know in the comments if that's true. Uh, very interesting stuff. Cheers. Later.